We are here today at the BMICH in Colombo celebrating academic excellence at the 6th Convocation Ceremony of KIU. This occasion will also see the presence of delegates from the Japanese government bringing a whole new level of internationalism to today's ceremony. KIU is a non-state degree awarding body which is not only accredited by the Ministry of Education but also recognized by the UGC. And what's even more special about today's convocation is that it will recognize the achievements of students from various faculties including the Faculty of Management, Health Sciences, Behavioral Sciences and Nursing. So stay tuned as we watch today's convocation unfold. I am Rebecca and you are watching Pulse. Michelle, first of all, congratulations on your achievement and your graduation today. Can you tell us what made you choose biomedical science here at KIU and what are your future plans with the degree that you've got earned today? So, uh, the reason I chose biomedical science in KIU is especially, I mean, I so advertised in Facebook and I then checked out the website. So, it was like really worth the hype. I mean, they had like amazing staffs and the laboratories and they had amazing services and you know what not and you know you just name it you have it in KIU so that's the reason I chose the degree in KIU so I'm planning on migrating to do my masters in molecular biology Here with me is Dr. Kanti Hettigoda, the Honorary Dean of the Faculty of Behavioral Sciences here at KIU. So Dr. Hettigoda, talking about psychology as a subject in Sri Lanka, how do you think it has grown amongst our students here? And what do you think, what's the scope they have in the field of psychology in Sri Lanka today? Uh, I think the subject psychology started in Sri Lanka in 1990 at Peradeniya. Since then, it was developed drastically, but last few years, we could see a huge development, a huge demand. People sometimes think psychologists only work for mental health issues, but that is a myth. Actually, most of the psychologists have work beyond that um, limit. So you, you can imagine any field, let's say engineering, medicine, science, IT, AI, uh, sports, uh, military, anywhere they can work. There are a lot of sports psychologists, there are a lot of military psychologists, there are aviation psychologists, there are industrial and organizational psychologists who are working in the different fields. So their demand is uh, there and I think they are paid very well. I think KIU uh, offer a very good degree who can, the graduates can actually compete with anybody in the world and they have already been offered very good scholarships and uh, workmanship uh, for most of the institutions in locally and um, other countries as well. So Vinodhi, how does it feel to be graduating here today and what was your experience with the BSc nursing program here at KIU? I'm so happy to be a graduate nurse today. Uh, when it comes to KIU, uh, KIU did offers the best nursing degree program in Sri Lanka. It covers the old subject uh, which helps to uh, advance my knowledge in nursing and we got amazing and educated uh, panel of lecturers uh, who are always uh, behind us and guided us to achieve this uh, goal. Here with me is Ms. Charuni Bisanayaka, who is not only a former student of KIU, but she is also a lecturer now in KIU's Department of Biomedical Science. So Charuni, can you tell us what has your experience been like? You know, you've been a student at KIU and now you're a lecturer here. So what can you tell us about that? 
Uh, well, I would say that uh, it has been a pretty interesting journey. So I've been a former student here and I have passed out and now I'm a lecturer here. So it's an honor for me to uh, teach my student and uh, thank you. Actually, I would like to be, uh, I would like to thank KIU for identifying uh, me for who I am and uh, nurturing me up to this level. And uh, yes, I'm very honored to see today the performances uh, of our students and to see what they have achieved and I would like to wish them all the best from the bottom of my heart and uh, for a bright future.